What's up everybody, so just another game that was freely available not too long ago on the Epic platform, it is called Deuce X Mankind Divided. Now it's only about 53 gig upon downloading and installing. Um, was released in 2016 on Steam side with over 28,000 positive good reviews or good reviews, positive reviews, whatever you want to go for. Anyway, that aside, um, as soon as you launch the game, there's a little launcher where you can select that it must be on DirectX 12. They do warn you that you need a good graphics card, so I'm gonna like just go for it. Um, why it's on custom is I disabled the motion blur. It's just something in games that I just can't handle. Anyway, let's see if all of this is gonna work out and what the graphics is like. <coughs> okay, I'm just not gonna care about the recap video in case she needs to play it like the previous one. Now, Hansa, are you? Well, if I do, McCready, I guarantee you'll never see it coming. Agent Jensen, am I gonna have a problem with you? No, sir. No reason to assume you would. Good, because you are the only augmented operator on this team, and I intend to make good use of you. Listen up, all of you. We got a sandstorm barreling down our ass, and we can't afford to make mistakes. We're going after this man, an arms dealer named Shepard. He's ex-Bell Tower, one of the Special Forces commanders who disappeared during the incident. And he's come out of hiding. That cannot be good. It's not. He's selling weapons and military-grade augments to terrorists. This is Aran Singh, the undercover agent who lured Shepard out of his hole. Best you see Interpol's got. For three years, he's worked hard to get in tight with the Jinn an Iraqi smuggling cartel that's infected the Eastern Hemisphere like a plague. Last week, our arms dealer sent a message to the Jinn, offering to sell them a shitload of black market merchandise dirt cheap. They told Singh to handle the buy. They're not gonna like it when Interpol disrupts that party. Is Singh's cover really that good? It is right now. We need to keep it that way. This is where the deal's going down. A half-finished high-rise hotel that's been abandoned ever since the incident. It's not a pretty picture inside. Let me guess. Most of the laborers were augmented with heavy-duty industrial rigs. So when the incident hit and they all went schizo, things got gruesome real fast. And no one, except for some homeless junkies, have been inside the place ever since. So what's the plan, Director? Singh's meeting Shepard on the ground floor, inside the hotel's main atrium. He sent the bulk of his gin crew to the penthouse levels to secure a vantage point. I want McCready's team to take up positions overlooking the atrium and make the arrest. Jensen, you're going in solo from the roof. My objectives? Keep the gin from joining the party. As far as we can tell, only one route connects the atrium to the penthouse level, a halfway decent elevator shaft. Here. I want you to block access to it. Fine. Just cut me loose. Do you plan on relying solely on your augments for this one? 
I'd recommend taking a little hardware, just to be sure. I'm not leaving my six exposed. Give me something lethal. Your call, but Singh's undercover in all this. So watch your fucking sights. What about range? There's lots of wide spaces and high ceilings in there, but a number of tight and constrained rooms too. So it's a crapshoot, really. Well, I'm not looking to play dice with anyone in there. Give me something with distance. Your call. Less chance of being seen and compromising Sing that way. One last thing, Jensen. Sing said that Jin are using some sort of portable Wi-Fi device to boost communications. He's got a better chance of maintaining cover if you disable it. I'll keep an eye out for it. But aren't we on the clock here? You said there's a sandstorm moving in. There is, and we got the intel on this mission at the very last minute. So we're scrambling a little. If it comes to it, your number one priority is keeping the Jin out of that atrium. Copy that. <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, the game does uh, show you how to assign a augmentation. So uh, it, the smart vision is something that we're going to need right now to actually show you that there's a little bit of a <coughs> issue um, with the wall. So you can smash through it using one of your augmentations actually. And uh, yeah, that's how you actually get past that section. So uh, the one thing that you'll need to do is also always look around for special secret areas with some collectibles for the game. Alright, so we need to restore the power. There's actually two guys there, which is X ray vision is pretty great. Seem like there's anything else here to do. Okay, that's just uh, terrible. Let me just. electricity everywhere so I do need to get past that quickly right so uh, I believe uh, there was something that we picked up earlier that uh, Pocket secretary, it's got the code 4801. So uh, let's see quickly. Alright, never mind. What the hell? Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Okay.
Alright, so this is interesting though. Okay, I see. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Okay, I guess you've got a certain amount of time now. Access granted. That's quite interesting. Alright. Opening this door, it's going to reveal like two guys. Damn spotters. I think that was the last time. I'll do another sweep in the area. Just to make sure. Tell me if there's So, uh, saw some action at least. Shows that I have to go up there, but I just wanna see what's this way as well. Some critter chips, and I guess that's it. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Alright. So you have to not let Jensen, that reach you, Matt, actually. Listen up. Actually, so... Uh, Doppler shows that sandstorm's moving in fast. It's big, and it's gonna hit us hard. God, I hate the fucking desert. Confirm visual? I can. Time is not on our side. Copy that. Solid copy.
Alright, so there's a few things. Okay, so then we're gonna need to get through this one. Alright guys, but so far it seems like it's quite an awesome game. We had quite a lot of fun. Graphics ain't bad. Right, so the vision thing helps actually. Was the signal boost already? Why for the last? Guess we can check out one of the other guns. But anyway guys, <coughs> I guess you get the idea of the game. Uh, seems like it's going to be quite the adventure to actually finish all of this, and it's going to take a lot of time. So I hope you enjoyed. Till next time, cheers.